and welcome to Bri Pro 68. I'm going to take a look in depth of a Smith & Wesson Model 19-3. I think this gun has been in some of my videos, but when I was looking, I didn't see a video just of this alone. So we'll first put it on the table, get a good look at that. Smith & Wesson 6-inch Model 19, nickel, factory nickel. I'm not doing this to prove that the gun's unloaded because I did that before I got here, but there's the N. That means it came from the factory, nickel. This gun most likely started its life with the Florida police. Um, I don't know if it's state police or highway police, but when I did some research on them, most of them were originally shipped to the Florida Highway Patrol, I think we're calling it. So let's just make sure, yes, it is a 19-3. It has the magnet grips, obviously, with an imitation Tyler T-grip. There is a company called, oh, I'm not gonna remember their name, something Trading Post. I'll put it, I'll leave a comment myself when I remember what it's called. And they're doing a knockoff. The reviews on that say not quite as stout as the original Tyler's, but I think the price on it was like 24 bucks. And it does really add a better feel to the gun. So that is a 19-3 nickel. Anyone that knows my channel, Bri Pro 68 sure it's small, sure it's little there, I am right in the background and anyone who knows my channel knows that i am a revolver guy through and through if i was to carry this or use this as a home defense gun in no way shape or form would i feel outgunned because if i'm dumping any more than six rounds maybe one reload we got a hell of a problem so 19-3 it's a real beauty this was my first purchase on gun broker i was a little worried because the way that seller did it is I actually had to just call a pawn shop with a credit card number and it, like I said it was my first experience into gun broker and I'm like oh well I just gave my credit card number to a complete stranger but lo and behold three days later this showed up in my FFL all right I'll take one last look at that Smith & Wesson 19-3 what a beauty just that cylinder to frame fit so wonderful recessed chambers and double action pull is distinct single action pull it's almost like my brain just wills it to fire i was actually concerned how light the pull was on there that i was going to get some failure to fires I haven't had a single issue with it just that reflection and that nickel finish is something else isn't it all right i guess you get a little bit of fingerprint smudging when you handle it but it comes with the territory thank you for watching